<laughs> What's up, Bro Nation? My name is Maro, and this channel is designed to keep your entrepreneurship energy at a 10 and to keep it burning. So let's kick right into it with today's top five seeds where we have a great lioness of Africa who became a millionaire in her third year in college while hustling, organized three very successful concerts for the Casper Nioves Fill Up Orlando series and also organized the greatly acclaimed Global Citizens Festival in South Africa featuring Beyonce and Jay-Z. Our lioness for today, the CEO and founder of Duma Collective is Sibu Mabena and he are a top five rules for success. <laughs> Rule number one, before you go to a bank, use yourself as a resource to create capital. Um, what I did was utilize myself as a resource first. Okay. So my brain, my ideas, that comes free. So you didn't need money to start? I genuinely was freelancing Amazing. and doing work with my hands, my feet, my head, mm. um, and saving. Mm. So from, from when I was about 14, I was babysitting. Mm. And turned 16 I became a choreographer and coach for the national dance team yes girl. and now making money <laughs> then I'm working on events mm. um, from working on events mm. I'm still at school mm. and while still at school I'm hustling and then I registered my company just as I graduated so that I could start invoicing as a professional and then I did um, research for a documentary and spent three months doing that and I asked them to pay me a lump sum at the end so I took a little bit just so I could have transport for my car train bus etc mm. and then yeah, everything they needed from me, I had inside of me. Mm. And I was able to get money. I got paid a lump sum of 90,000 Rand. Mm. And that was all I needed to bankroll all the projects that I was doing going forward. Mm. So a lot of people say, yes, you need capital to start your mm. business, but you also have yourself as a resource mm. to generate that capital. Yeah. And then that capital becomes your own money that you are investing in your business. Mm. I got my first loan from the bank maybe two years into my business mm. because then I was able to say, okay, I've got a big project mm. and I have the capacity for it. I know I'll be able to pay this loan back. Mm. But I was very scared of Viscoloto. Mm. <laughs> if you don't, like my mother said, if you can't afford it, don't buy it. Mm. So make the money, save the money, mm. use the money. Rule number two, don't keep your idea in the shelf, just start. Um, with 7 billion people on earth, I don't think any idea is new anymore. So, um, and, and I mean, kudos to people who are able to come up with innovative ideas. But if you can't come up with that thing that is just groundbreaking and mm. so different to anything that exists in the market, look at what you are able to do and how best you can do it because no two people can do anything the same way. So by virtue of being an employee, you are selling your services. You are an entrepreneur innately. I think going into a job at nine o'clock to offer a service to someone in return for a paycheck at the end of the month is the same as what I do going into, in, into a company and offering my services as an agency and invoicing for, for those services. So to say it's that one idea that's going to really set you off, start with what you have. You could be a good baker, you could be a good hairstylist, you could be someone that knows how to paint nails really well. You could be a stylist, you could be a car washer. There are so many things that work or function within our lives that we don't identify as possible business opportunities. But if you were to just look within yourself, look at what you're able to, to do. Use your hands, use your feet, use your mind. I think we would start to see a lot more entrepreneurs because I think the fallacy is that you've got to have this great idea and you'll make millions off of it. Some people start small and end up making millions off of that. Rule number three, become a critical thinker and not a theory. I think what really helped me was um, going to varsity, not necessarily the degree. So the experience that comes with being accountable for work that you're given, um, the experience that comes with critical thinking, things that you know, you're taught how to do, not necessarily what mm -hmm. you learn in class. Um, those kind of things really go a long way when you've got to navigate your way through a boardroom or through working with other agencies or working with stakeholders. Those are the kind of values that you learn within the university system, I think. Rule number four, create intellectual property. It can be a great source of capital. I was you know, staying up really late working all the hours of the day and kind of utilizing all 24 hours because I've always said we have the same 24 hours as Beyonce. So whilst you're studying, you're working. After working, you're studying. So um, 
I've been working for a very long time and doing things that took my intellectual property to be able to execute versus having to buy products and utilize a lot of capital. So I was able to capitalize my business by doing things that require just my skill, my brain and my time. Um, and that's kind of how I got to where I am today. Rule number five in this Nike slogan says, just do it. It's so possible. Even when it seems it's impossible, yeah. it is possible. Mm -hmm. And it's only possible if you do it. <laughs> Don't put your mind to it. Don't, Don't dream about it. Do it. Yeah. Even if you don't have other people helping you do it, mm -hmm. just do it. Mm -hmm. What Nike says, just do it. It's mm -hmm. a real thing. Mm -hmm. We can romanticize business all we want. It's hard. I was in the office until half past three last night and I was back in a meeting at nine o'clock this morning. It's hard, but it's so worth it. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think of Sivuma Bena's top five rules for success and also what you think of her story. And also, if you have another lioness of Africa who you want me to profile next, be sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll profile the entrepreneur for you guys. Thank you so much. Until next time, my name is Maro. <laughs>